Good evening. I'm Greg Floyd. And I'm Dory Marlin. Our top story, an unusual burglary at a self-storage business. Police learned something from this, and they say now you can, too. As Craig Smith reports, when burglars went to work Wednesday night, it seems they knew which units they'd be able to get into and which ones were better protected. It was around 7 o'clock at the safe storage on Altamont Avenue. They cut the fence open uh, and then went, uh, went through 15 lockers. Um, in some cases, nothing was removed from any of the lockers, but uh, we know of, of at least one case where power tools were stolen. According to police, the burglars didn't bother with lockers that were packed with boxes. Too much time and effort required. A few years ago, we were here reporting on some animals that were mistreated here. Someone who rented space left them in a locker with no food, with no heat. We did reports from over here in an empty parking lot, but look, it isn't empty anymore. Safe storage has expanded. It's one of the companies in the area that's been growing in recent years. There's more storage space coming in Latham, where Maybe's Storage is putting up new buildings. According to the Self Storage Association, there are twice as many units nationwide as there were 14 years ago. We're really seeing an uptick in people not only flocking towards storage units, but largely because of, you know, life events, divorce, natural disasters, moving, all these different reasons. Amanda Hess of Rensselaer is one example. Her house sold faster than she thought it would. So we moved in with my grandmother and didn't have enough room in her house to take all of our stuff with us, so our entire house is in the storage unit. If you rent a storage unit, consider what sort of lock to use. In the Rotterdam case, the burglars simply cut off the locks that renters brought in. That's what we learned uh, in responding to this case from the owners. Um, they said that they do sell a lock that um, the way it attaches to the locking mechanism of the door, it does not allow a, uh, a typical bolt cutter to um, access to, to cut it off. Craig Smith with that story. Lieutenant Brown says that so far they have no idea who the burglars were, but he also says that about $1,000 worth of tools have been taken.